Hey YouTube, George Briarman here. Uh, it's been a while since our videos of the past. Um, today, get a little housekeeping out of the way. I'm smoking a little plum cake and uh, drinking a little. This is Baron Court rum. Eight years in oak. Eight years in oak is excellent. Pairs very well with the plum cake. Plum cake is aged with um, Jamaican rum. It's an excellent, excellent smoke. Um, one thing that uh, also I'd let you know about is I'm also I'm trying to get my pipe to stand here without dropping out. I don't know if you can see this. We also drank a little Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare. Uh, for you guys that don't know a lot about bourbons, um, Buffalo Trace is roughly four to eight years old, but Eagle Rare is the same thing as Buffalo Trace, but aged at least 10 years in oak. Um, my brother and I, it's been a while since we've made a YouTube video. This is Briar Tim. <laughs> I'm over at uh, our meet. Of course, instead of Friday night, it's Saturday. Um, how is, how's everybody been in the YouTube pipe community? Um, nothing's changed here except I'm getting a little older, a little more whiskers. Of course, we've got into scotch lately. Um, what kind of scotch do you guys like? We've drank, uh, I think today we had a little Macallan 12-year. Um, we've had a little Johnny Walker Blue, some good scotches. I think we're turning into whiskey snobs, if you ask me. If you ask me, yeah. Uh, what do you think, uh, Briar Tim? Love the scotch. We've had uh, Lagavulin 16. Um, we've got a Glenmorangie Signet, which is which is good. Uh, can't say well enough about Highland Park. Um, Highland Park was great. Mm. Excellent. But I've never had... Highland Park 12 and 18. Never had a rum that I, I cared about at all. Um, but on my 50th birthday, I was given this um, Barbon Court sipping rum that's been aged in oak, uh, French oak casks for eight years. Uh, and beautifully smooth. It's, it's not a clear rum because it's been aged in oak. Uh, it, it has... Uh, coloring that you can tell that it's it brought out from the uh, from the oak cask very smooth uh, you can't go wrong this particular one was made in in uh, Haiti and if you get a, a chance give it a try you, you you'll be pre pleasantly surprised and especially paired with this plum cake uh, most of you guys in the pipe community know uh, one of my favorites is plum cake um, the other favorite is, um, Balkan Sobrani, which I was able to acquire at least 12 tens. Um, but this plum cake blend is full bodied. Let's put this pipe down. I only got two hands. It says, uh, this blend is full bodied and rich, giving you a taste the taste nuances of natural sweetness added with slight taste of smoke, Latakia, and distinctive aroma of sailor's rum. Um, this is a navy blend. If you guys hadn't tried the plum cake, do so. But I very much encourage you to go get some of this barbon court. I don't know what the cost is because it was a gift to my brother. Um, the barbon court, eight years, and pair it with that uh, with your pipe, the plum cake question is and of course you know send me some feedback uh what do you pair your pipe tobaccos with do you pair it with rum do you pair it with bourbon um we smoked earlier today uh this is a little bit left of um, a camacho cigar we uh paired the bourbons with a cigar and it was really good so what would you what would you um pair your pipe tobaccos with uh just a quick shout out to um, 
Tade Wassimer. Uh, you're a great guy. I love your videos. Um, I don't comment as much as I should, but I watch almost all your videos. Um, thank you. It's called the uh, Pipeliner, Tade. Um, keep keep up with the videos, and a couple of you guys, uh, Joe Case. Oh, uh, if you if you guys hadn't tried, uh, look up. Um, oh, it's been so long since I've been out of the community, but he's doing great work uh, on some of his pipes. Um, I forget the name. This right here was handmade out of Albania. Excellent pipe. It's a no-name pipe, handmade. Uh, my brother went to Albania uh, last year and um, met a pipe maker out there. And like I said, these were handmade. Um, great pipes. And I think he's also smoking one of the handmade pipes. So... Anyway, um, enough of me rambling on. Um, I ramble on quite a bit. So, oh, here we go. Albania. Yeah. Uh, you're looking for a place to go on vacation? Albania would be a great place to go. Um, super people. Uh, they're very nice, very helpful. Um, just be careful when you land in Turkey and transition to the next flight over to Albania because you never know what you're going to see with some of those Turk people. But either way, um, I hope everyone in the pipe community is having a get my thumb out of the way. Hope everyone in the pipe community is having a great day and a great weekend. It's uh, fall finally. Um, it's a little warm out here, but the breeze, you know, makes it bearable. Uh, plus, we're on the back deck of uh, my brother's house. Uh, that's the neighbor's house, but I don't know. I would show you the inside, but that means I would have to get up and quit smoking, and I'm not going to do that right now. I'm enjoying myself. So, pipe community, YouTube, leave up a comment and let me know what you pair your, your pipe tobaccos with. Um, do you like bourbon? Do you like scotch? What kind of scotch? Give me some ideas of what to try next, because I've tried a lot of scotches, and they are good. I've tried a lot of bourbons, and they are good. Um, I might be doing the bourbon trail next summer. Who knows? I'll keep you posted and take pictures. So, meantime, uh, you guys have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.